Today, I'll be talking about the best holiday movie ever, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I know what you guys are thinking, reviewing a Tim Burton movie in December? Yes. Well, Nightmare Before Christmas technically counts as a Christmas movie, thus I consider it a Christmas classic. Over the years, there have been people who argue about whether or not animation counts as cinema, but I believe, undeniably, this movie does. Nightmare Before Christmas is a stop motion movie from 1993. Animating in stop motion is a challenge, and it was even more of a challenge back then. Each facial expression had to be individually sculpted. Each location was actually a mini set that they built for the movie. Every movement had the animators position the character models in the best possible poses to make the movements flow naturally with logical, realistic progressions each frame to make it look like this, and not like this. On the topic of movements, the characters in this movie are animated so expressively. It's almost like I'm watching an animated show, like Ren and Stimpy. Getting these types of movements in stop motion is very difficult, and it's the fact that the team was able to animate the movie with this much visual personality shows how great their understanding of the medium is. But most movies don't become cult classics if nothing happens in it. They must have good visuals and a good story. So what is the story? of Nightmare Before Christmas. This is Halloween is the first song we are met with in the movie, as it introduces us to the wondrously spooky backroads place that is Halloween Town. This is Halloween is a classic and instantly recognizable. Along with the visuals, it sets a tone for the movie excellent, and it is peak Halloween music. We see that the town is having an annual Halloween celebration, and it is in this opening scene that we see Jack Skeleton, the king of the Pumpkin Patch. Jack has a dominance over Halloween Town and is an important figure for the celebration. He has a ghost dog named Zero. The movie also introduces us to Sally, who is like a female Frankenstein. Not that one. And she lives with Ho Creator, a grumpy mad scientist who looks kind of like a duck in a wheelchair. She dreams of escaping the scientist that created Ho and freedom. And also she dreams of Jack. She's in love with Jack. In another great song, Jack sings about how, despite being the best at what he does, he has an extreme longing for something else. Something different. He's getting sick of the same thing every year. Sally overhears Jack singing and feels like she knows how he feels because she also is tired of the same thing. Later in the movie, while wandering through a mysterious forest, Jack stumbles upon doorways to other holiday towns. A Valentine's Day town, a St. Patrick's Day town, an Easter town, Thanksgiving town, and Christmas town. Which is the one that instantly intrigues him. Imagine a night Nightmare Before St. Patrick's Day movie. Before he knows it, Jack finds himself in Christmas Town, asking himself, what's this? What's this? As he explores this new place that is the complete opposite of Halloween Town, and he loves all the jolly, festive things he sees. He's like a kid in a candy store, or I guess you could say, a skeleton in a candy store. <laughs> What's this? In here, they've got a little tree. How queer! Oh gosh, be careful saying that nowadays, Jack. After coming back to Halloween Town, Jack has the mayor call a town meeting that night, as Jack then tries to tell everyone about Christmas and Christmas Town. The crowd eats it up, but none of them fully understands the point of Christmas. At least they're excited though, Jack says. Jack visits the scientist who created Sally, asking him for stuff to use for experiments. As Jack then conducts all types of experiments in an attempt to fully discover the secrets of Christmas. Sally sees a glimpse of what Jack is up to and she gets a premonition that his Christmas interest is gonna end bad. Jack sings about how he thinks he should be able to be the one in charge of Christmas. He thinks he would improve Christmas, and he would be just as good of a Santa as the actual one. He declares, as he screams out his window, that this year, Christmas will belong to Halloween Town. Jack assigns all the townspeople a task to help him get everything ready for Christmas. He even assigns a task to Uggy Buggy's kids, who he tells to kidnap Santa, and Jack tells them not to involve Uggy Buggy. They sing 
sing a sinister, villainous song about kidnapping Santa and planning to give Santa to Uggy Boogie, so Uggy Boogie will be pleased with them and give them a reward. Then there's a song about making Christmas, sung by the Halloween Town creatures slash citizens, whatever you wanna call them, as they are joyously making what they believe are high quality Christmas gifts. But the stuff they're making is actually horrific, twisted, and it's the complete opposite of good Christmas gifts. Sally is then seen talking to Jack, telling him he doesn't look like himself at all, and tries to remind him who he is. But Jack is loving how different Christmas is as opposed to Halloween. And as he's putting on his imitation Santa costume, the three kids bring him the real Santa to show Jack that they caught him. And Jack tells Santa he won't have to worry about Christmas this year. Then he tells the kids to bring Santa some more comfy. They take Santa to Uggy Buggy, and this is one of my favorite favorite songs and scenes in the movie. It's so over the top, but in a good way. A very fun and entertaining scene. Sally tries to use some type of fog potion to stop Jack from going through with his Christmas plan. But Zero's nose shines bright, allowing Jack's reindeers to see, and Jack takes off into the night. Jack tries to do good, but instantly begins terrifying children and dropping evil, scary objects and creations off at each household. He he is unintentionally ruining the holiday for everyone in town. The police get wind of all the chaos, and people in town begin locking their homes and lighting their fireplaces. It's all over the news. Sally tries to save Santa, but gets caught by Uggy Boogie. The military takes action as they shoot down Jack. Jack is still alive though. Well, he's a skeleton, so uh... Anyways, whether he's actually alive or not, he's here. And we see him reflecting on his actions as he feels bad about ruining Christmas. He has to come to terms with the fact he isn't Santa. He's Jack, and that's okay. But now that he's feeling like himself again, it's time for Jack to save Sally and Santa, and Christmas. I must say, the fight sequence between Jack and Uggy Boogie is one of the most well done and most impressive sequences in the movie. The shots and the animation is just perfect. I will now pass the mic to Phil TMNT. Check out his channel, linked in the description down below. Hey guys, so I'm Phil TMNT, my Taekwondo outfit so I just got back from Taekwondo practice. And um, I have to say my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the time right before Christmas is Jack Skellington. Mostly because like, in the movie, he goes through like, this phase where he's kind of getting tired of doing Halloween, the same old thing every year. So he goes into Christmas, essentially screws things up, and the reason why that's my favorite is because that kind of taught me as a kid that sometimes we go through stuff, um, sometimes we go through stuff that causes us to have like an identity crisis, right? And sometimes we we'll want to venture out to different areas, different avenues. But sometimes the best course of action, which is essentially what like Sally tells um, Jack and what Santa Claus tells Jack, is to stay on the course. Sometimes we're meant to do something, and yeah, sometimes we might get tired of the same old thing. By the same time, looking at other things might reignite or ignite more our passion to follow what we truly meant to do in life, or like, may um shows us okay maybe this is not the life for me maybe this was the life for me the entire time or maybe i was overlooking this thing guess this thing seemed to be so awesome or this thing that i've been doing it's really awesome is that moral essentially later tears
This movie has you invested in a skeleton. Nightmare Before Christmas is a story about trying to break free from the shackles of everyday life, and the things that can go wrong if you aren't careful when treading unfamiliar territory. It's almost like a warning to people who set out to try new things. A warning not to get in over your head. As the famous quote goes, not all that wander are lost, but end up like Jack, and you will be. Whether or not you consider it an actual Christmas movie, it is undeniable that The Nightmare Before Christmas is genius. It is a brilliantly crafted film with amazing stop motion and a good story. That's gonna be it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Cartoon Post, out. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.